A last voyage for a proud little coastal freighter, now derelict, not even under her own power. 20th century pirates will sink the 188-foot Walker Q to lure deep-sea treasure to the polluted waters off Miami Beach. We try to, to promote recreational fishing in the area, and by sinking this ship, we're able to provide an artificial reef, both for the charter boats and for the community fishermen, mostly the weekend fishermen. From a banana boat runner to Haiti and Colombia, the Walker Q, with the help of 500 pounds of dynamite, will become home to Amberjack, Grouper, Snapper, and Yellowtail, in 280 feet of water three miles offshore. One previous attempt to sink a freighter took seven hours, but today the Walker Q is a perfect lady. When it reaches the bottom and uh, a growth starts to accumulate, uh, smaller fish, algae, and other interesting things develop, and uh, there's a chain reaction of the smaller fish uh, beginning a population, and of course the larger fish eating them, and eventually we wind up with quite large fish on the wreck. How long does it take to make it a good fishing spot? Uh, I'd say two to three weeks. It took eight years to put the artificial reef project together. The Walker Q makes reef number 12. Fishermen can chart the wrecks on fathometers and set their lines for a guaranteed catch almost all the time. The birth of an artificial reef is a violent and beautiful thing. All that remains on the surface is an oil slick and some debris. But the Walker Q sank to her watery grave with the promise of new life to come to an ocean once barren of living things. Beverly McFarland, Channel 4 News, on the Yacht Therapy 4 off Miami Beach.